So a few years ago, I was a camp counselor at a summer camp. And one of the activities that we could do, and all of my middle school students were super excited about it, was this, this ropes course called Treetops. And it was this obstacle course, the ropes course that was up in, well, the treetops. So all of them were super pumped about it, except for one kid. And so all the other students go up, except for this one guy. He's kind of maybe more awkward than the others. He's a little bit smaller. He's maybe not quite as athletic. And he just look, takes one look at the obstacle course and says, there's no way that I could possibly finish that. So why on earth would I even start? And so after, you know, it seemed like, you know, hours, which it really wasn't, but it was hours of really trying to convince this kid, hey, you can do it, you can go up. But the thing about it up is you have to go in groups of twos. You can't just go up solo. And so he looks at me and he says, all right, I'll go up on one condition. You go with me. And so I'm like, all right, let's do this. So we get our helmet and we get strapped up and we walk up and we're up in the treetops and we get maybe past one obstacle. And he looks at me and he says, I can't do this. Tears in his eyes, he's crying. He says, I can't take another step. And I'm like, hey, all right, here's what we're gonna do. Don't look down, don't look up, don't look to the right, don't look to the left. Look at me, focus on me, grab a hold of me. Cause I'm a lot bigger than this kid. I can, what's really hard for him is actually much easier for me. And so I tell him, grab onto me, we're gonna get through this. We're gonna make it to the end. And so we finally get through, he cling, clutches onto me. We get to the end, my shirt is soaked in snot and tears, but we did it. And so as I reflect on that moment, as I go through life and as I enter into troubling seasons, I wanna look more like that kid, which may seem kind of odd because he was kind of scared and he cried. But in that moment, what he did is say, I know I can't do this on my own. I can't get through this on my own. I can't finish on my own. So guess what? I'll go up if you go with me. And that's how we need to approach our relationship with Jesus. As we enter into these difficult seasons, as we enter into these seasons that seem to not make a whole lot of sense and we see the, the finish line and don't think, hey, I don't think I can make it to that. What we've got to do is, is cling to Jesus. It says in James, hey, draw near to God and he's going to draw near to you. So what we need to do in these seasons that don't seem to make a lot of sense in our heart is we've got to cling to Jesus because we will make it to the other side. And, and maybe you've got to soak Jesus' shirt and snot and tears, but you're going to get through it. Not in your own strength, but in Jesus' strength because he's never failed anybody and he's not going to start with you.